sure the frames are all set. Daria tomorrow 
For now, class dismissed. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord for all the days of my life. Finished another song? Yep, I'm up to 23 now. Pretty soon I'm going to run out of things to write about. Keep telling yourself that. What's that you're working on? Oh, this? This is going to be a water jug. It's so early in the process. How do you know what it's going to be? I'm the potter. The clay will be whatever I make it into. What happens if it turns out into a vase instead? A vase? It isn't a vase. It's a water jug. I need a new one for my sh workshop, and I'm making this vessel on the purpose of holding water. But what if... Oh, no, you ruined it! It's not ruined. That's the thing about clay. It can always be remolded. Watch. That reminds me of a role I used to play on the stage. You guys are all here. I knew I didn't dream it. Hello, Daria. Nice to see you again. Daria, I'm so glad you've come back. You're one of those people who wear a name tag, right? Yes. That makes you important, doesn't it? I mean, I guess so. Fabulous. I have a few suggestions for the exhibit. For one thing, have you noticed how shiny my frame is? Yeah, it's a really nice frame. Nice? It's gorgeous. And a frame like that deserves center stage, don't you think? You want me to move? your frame? I can't do that. Why not? Because Xander, the artist who painted these portraits, has given us very specific instructions not to move the frames. It's an insult to my beautiful frame to have to sit next to those. I knew you were talking to someone. Wait, you got all these people to dress up like characters. Wow. This is awesome. Ah! What's wrong? My frame, it's scratched. I don't see anything. It's there, the 
is a scratch, and that's how frames get broken, and that's how they end up in storage. I think you might be overreacting. I'm not. We have to fix it. Potter, can you fix it? What do you want me to do? I'm just a painting. Daria, you're the intern. Isn't it your job to make sure that the gallery looks nice? Yeah, it is, but... I'm uh, sure the artist would want you to fix our frames. He's probably just too busy or something Xander to... has been very busy teaching our class and with the new painting. See? I know where some gold paint is. I could patch it up for you. Thank you. After all, my frame is what makes me special. Eddie, I don't think this is a good idea. Relax, Daria. It's just a little bit of paint. It's down there. Well, Matt, I should touch up these other frames too. No, Eddie. Xander chose these frames specifically. We can't touch them. I'm not changing the frames. I'm just touching them up a little bit. Look what you made me do! Me? You spilled the paint. You got in my way. Well, someone had better clean that up before it dries. I know where to find a mop. <laughs> Look, Xander, I know that art takes time, but I have to have that final portrait for the complete collection to open the exhibit this weekend. Amanda, I've already told you, the painting will be done. Yes, yes, I heard you, but I don't have to remind you that this exhibit could bring in a whole lot of money, enough to keep the museum open. I would hate to have to cancel it. Don't worry, Amanda. The painting will be done in time. Ah, yes, yes, you keep saying. Let's see. Is it all clean in here? Hmm. <sighs> that was all my fault. You told me not to get the paint, and I didn't listen, and I'm glad it only got all over the floor and not Xander's priceless masterpieces. Thank you for helping me clean up. You're welcome. I'm glad we were able to clean it up. I just wish that Nora could see how beautiful she is, even without a shiny frame. It reminds me of a verse we learned the other day in school. 1 Samuel 16, 7. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God, he looks at the heart. That's pretty cool. Let's go put the mop and rags away before class. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> We're supposed to be making jars, not bobbleheads. <laughs> Whatever. Taria, what's the matter? I can't do it. I'll never be a potter. I should just quit the team. What? I oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Well, I believe that'll be enough mucking around for the day. Class is dismissed, but remember, we need a full team of five in order to submit a piece for the National Pottery Competition. So unless you'd like the entire team to be disqualified, I'd suggest you try to keep Daria from quitting. Well, there you have it. Daria is going to be the reason this team fails, whether she competes or not. Whoa, time for ice cream. Team? You'd all be better off without me. Not really. We need a team of five in order to compete. I'm no good at pottery. I'll just let you all down. And you will if all you do is mope around instead of practicing. I'm not moping, and I do practice. I just can't seem to get it right. Well, 
You can't just quit. We need you. Whatever. Hey, Esther. Are you okay? I'm so worried. I have to make a decision, but it seems impossible either way. I'll get through it. Maybe that'll help. Eddie, you can't solve everything by talking it out. Yeah, but you can solve some things by good open communication. I am good at communication. You are literally the worst at it. You'd rather sit in a creepy room with creepy paintings that come to life, which is not normal, by the way. No offense, guys. Offense very much taken. Guys, let's stop arguing about who communicates better and listen to what Esther has to say. Fine. And Esther, what seems to be the problem? Well, you see, one of the king's close friends, a man named Haman, is very angry with my people. He doesn't want us to be able to serve the Lord, and he's going to put us all in danger unless the king does something. Well, that's an easy one. You're married to the king. Why don't you just ask him to stop Haman? Yeah, that seems like an easy, easy solution to me. I don't think you need our help. It's not that simple. There's a law stating that you have to have an invitation to approach the king. And I don't have an invitation. Invitations are very important. So you see, I'm not sure there's anything I can do. What's that you're holding? Oh, this? This is a letter from my uncle Mordecai. Let's see what it says. If you remain completely silent at this time, deliverance will arise from somewhere else. But who knows whether you've come to the kingdom for such a time as this. It sounds like God has a plan for you. You are the vessel you have chosen in order to save your people. You could choose not to be used, but God has placed you exactly where you need to be in order to accomplish his plan. That's pretty cool. You're right. I know what I need to do. Please excuse me, but I need to go talk to the king. That was really great advice you gave Esther, Daria. Don't you think it applies to you as well? What do you mean? Well, you also have a decision to make. You could quit the team because you don't think you're a good enough potter, but you know that God has placed you where you need to be and given you the skills needed to accomplish his purpose for your life. Wow, I didn't think about that. Well, looks like it's time for us to return to our frames. Bye! Bye. Dar, if you want, I can help you to keep your jar from wobbling. Really? You could do that? Yeah, it's all in the vase. Let's go work on it. That would be nice, thank you. How do you think the jar turned out? Why don't you find out? We did it! Nice job, Daria. Wow. It looks like Daria managed to create something not completely awful. Why are you so mean, Tara? <laughs> Maybe we should test it out. What? No, guys! <laughs> Cut it out, guys. Hey, Tara, catch! No! Look what you've done! Oops. It was an accident. Daria might never try again. Calm down. She can make another one. She might never try again. That was really important to her. What happened here? Daria made a jar she was really proud of. And then me and Tommy were fooling around. Yeah, me and Tommy were fooling around. I mean, and I dropped it. And it broke. I feel terrible. I, do you think there's anything that you could do to fix it? This is broken into a lot of pieces. It's going to take time to fix. And we might not be complete in time for the contest submission. That's okay. I think we'd rather fix Daria's jar than enter the competition anyway. Is that how the whole team feels? No. no. Yeah. yeah, fine. Very well. I'm going to need all of your help, and it won't be easy. But sometimes even broken things can be made beautiful. Yeah! Daria, you look upset. What happened? I finally made something out of clay that I was proud of. It was just a jar, but it didn't fall over and the edges were smooth. Then Tara dropped it and it broke. I feel so sad now. 
That's terrible, Daria. I'm sorry that happened. But you can make another one, can't you? I don't think I want to. Maybe I'm just not supposed to be an artist at all. <laughs> David, what is all of this? There's a giant. Must fight. Did you say something about a giant? <clears throat> There's a giant named Goliath. He, he's terrorizing the armies of Israel. King Saul gave me his armor to wear, but I, I can hardly move in it. Then why do you need to wear the armor then? <sighs> because good warriors wear armor, and I want to be a good warrior. <sighs> I, I can't use this. I haven't tested it in battle yet. Then just don't use it. Haven't you already fought off lions and bears protecting your sheep? How did you do that? Well, I, I, I used a slingshot. David, David, David. It sounds like God has been preparing you to fight this giant long before you knew you would have to. You've got this. Maybe. I think so. We'll see. Probably. Yeah, the Lord has equipped you with everything that you need because the battle belongs to God, not to us. I think it's time we stop trying to fight this battle using what the world thinks of his armor. You're right. All that time I spent defending the sheep in the fields, that was God preparing me for the bigger battles. I know what God needs me to do now. I will fight Goliath. I don't need this shield or this helmet. I just need a, a couple of rocks. Um, oh, we have some rocks over here by your painting. Thank you for reminding me not to fight these battles the Lord's way. Now everyone will know that the Lord does not save with sword or spear, for the battle is the Lord's. Yeah! yeah! You come at me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come at you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my frame! We heard a loud crash, and I think it came from in here, and what? It's over for me, it's over! Who's that? Who in the absolute, amazingly massive world are they? Oh my goodness, dude. Guys, guys, hold on. These are Sanders paintings, and I know it's a little weird, but they come to life. Hi! Weird? This is awesome! Yeah, except now we have a huge problem. Could you guys help me find something that could fix more? What are we going to do? My frame is broken and I'm worthless without it. Well, I can tell you a joke if that'll make it better. Why did the picture go to jail? Why? Because it was framed. <laughs> <laughs> My frame! It doesn't look too bad. Are you kidding? It's completely destroyed. Absolutely annihilated! We have to tell Amanda before, we have to do something to fix it before Amanda comes in and sees this. She's gonna have a fit. I, overheard, I could lose my internship. I overheard Xander and Amanda talking, and they said that this is very important for the museum, and that it would close for good. We would lose our art classes too. Guys, I still can't believe you two knew about a room full of talking paintings and didn't say anything. Of which pales in comparison that I have no value without this frame. We need to tell Xander. He's going to be so mad. Not as mad as Amanda will be. I hear them coming. I guess I'll go get them. Guys, you're going to have to see this. What? Oh no! What did you guys do? Who are all these people? And what Okay, I know this is a lot to take in, but Xander's paintings come to life and what? David accidentally knocked over Nora's frame on his way to slay a giant. Oh? What? How did the battle go? With the Lord's help, we won! Wait, Xander, you, you know about the paintings? Of course I do. They are my paintings. I created them so I know everything about them. 
Living portraits. Huh. Guess we could have figured that one out. Can we please focus on the problem that I have no value without this frame until it's fixed, shiny, and beautiful again? Wow, this is incredible. Xander, I know how you feel about the frames, but Nora, this talking portrait is right. We can't put her on display without a frame. We either have to get her a new frame or remove her from the collection. We can't show an art show with broken frames. Everyone calm down. Amanda, you still don't understand it. This display was never about the frames at all. It's not? No. The frames are just a shell, a way to display the beauty that is within. The true value of the art is the painting itself. Nora, you are my masterpiece, just like the portraits of Esther, David, and the potter. You can't do anything to add to your work or take away from it. All, ugh, I'm the masterpiece? All this time I thought it was my value was found in having a beautiful, shiny, and expensive frame. The frame was only ever meant to display my workmanship. Amanda, I think it's time I show you the last painting. <gasps> And me? One of my favorite things about being an artist is that I get to remind people how special they are to their creator. You see, these paintings have my signature on them. They are my handiwork. Now, I am just an artist, but God is the creator of everything. And he calls us his masterpieces. We don't have to do anything special or be really good at sports or pottery. He loves us because he created us. That's what I hope this gallery will show. And I hope this last portrait will show all of us that each one of us is God's masterpiece. Wow. Eddie. I think it's time you give Daria her present now. You fixed my jar. We all did. Yeah. Every one of us. It doesn't make up for all the mean things I've said to you. Or for breaking the jar in the first place. But I want you to know that I am truly sorry. And I'll try to behave better. Me too. Me three. I forgive you, Tara. Sometimes broken things are beautiful after all. Indeed they are, Daria.